Right, treatment wise, now initially when people come in for that first uh, day, one day one, day two after an injury, a lot of it's just advice and education trying to make sure that uh, the patient knows what they should be doing, what they should be avoiding. So your rice is really good in those first couple of days for any muscle tear, so things like uh, resting it from further aggravation, ice is really good to do your 15, 20 minutes on and off for those first few days to try and help stop the bleeding and help start the healing process. Uh, compression is really good too, so we'll put some of that on soon to show you. Uh, and then things like elevation. So with hamstrings, it's a, it's a wee bit hard, but you can prop your uh, legs up on pillows or on the couch and try and look at getting a little bit of that blood flow out of there too. So from a clinical perspective, we try to do a lot of um, gentle soft tissue massage. Depending on the extent of the tear, you don't want to be really firm with your massage in those first few days because you can cause more bleeding when you're doing it. Um, be careful with things like anti-inflammatories too in that first two to three days. You want to avoid taking anti-inflammatories for the first couple of days to help that healing process start, uh, which is uh, something that a lot of people aren't sure when they should start taking it. Um, stretching, I avoid stretching. I don't mind a little bit of active range of movement when people are trying to just do their normal day-to-day -day, day -day activities, but don't actively go and start stretching out your hamstring trying to do it because that again can uh, cause a little bit more bleeding. Uh, electrotherapy, so ultrasound can work really good in those first few days to help uh, promote a bit of that, that tissue healing. Um, as the, the first few days starts progressing, it goes from that acute phase to that sort of more medium to, to weeks two to six, that's often when people will find they get the highest rate of re-injury because hamstrings are the sort of injury where they'll feel really good really quickly but won't necessarily mean they're, they're ready to return to sport. So after that sort of first one to two weeks, the pain can actually almost be totally gone, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the, the hamstring's ready to go back doing the, the task that you want to get back and do with your sports or your work and things like that. So to test that, there's a lot of different exercises that we will be giving people over the first couple of weeks. But what I do like to do for a start, uh, if you have a roll back onto your back there, Justine is try and start getting people doing a little bit of that active knee work, so holding your hand behind your leg and just starting to do a little bit of gentle extension work up through there just to start not only getting the muscle lengthening but actually start getting a little bit of that uh, blood flow going back into it. That's often not very painful for people in those first couple of days. Uh, bridging, as we showed before, is a really good exercise to start engaging the glutes and taking a lot of that pressure off the hamstring. So there, a couple of good exercises to start in that first couple of weeks. With rehab for these things, uh, the rule of thumb for most hamstring injuries is about minimum of three to four weeks, regardless of how bad the tear is. That's not saying that you'll be sore for three to four weeks, but saying that that's how you can really make sure that you give the muscle the best amount of time to start healing. Uh, the more severe the tears, like your grade twos and your grade threes, that's going to extend quite a lot. You can get some hamstring tears, which can be anywhere out from three months to, to often some of your real complex ones, which can even be sometimes 12 months. But again, come in, talk to the physio, get some advice and education on what you should be doing and how to prevent this. Obviously, not taking too long to recover, but stop it from happening again and again and again, which is what we often see with a lot of hamstring injuries. So if you do have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us. Otherwise, give us a call and we can hopefully uh, help you out and see you soon.